guys, I'm finally doing it. I'm doing my haul video. So I am working on my vlogs from Japan. I just went to Japan in May, if you didn't know. And um, I'm working on my vlogs right now, but I really, I need to go through my suitcase that has like all the stuff that I bought from Japan. So I don't know whether I'm gonna post this as soon as I'm done editing it, or I'm gonna post it like after all my vlogs. I haven't decided yet, but right now I'm gonna film it so that I can actually go through the stuff. Uh, one of the funnest parts about this is that I literally have not gone through this since I got home two weeks ago. So I forgot a lot of the stuff that I bought in Japan already because I haven't seen it for like two weeks. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you what I got in Japan. I'll give you guys a little glimpse here of the stuff I have to go through with this entire suitcase. Is <laughs> stuff that I bought for myself and AJ in Japan so we have to go through this whole thing um, I'm gonna have to decide whether or not I'm gonna have to do it in categories or if I'm just gonna just like show you thing after thing really quickly let's see how it goes okay so I just went out through everything and I think I got it in like a category enough that I can show it so I think I can fit everything in but we're gonna have to go like really fast otherwise it's gonna be like 40 minutes long of me sharing all my stuff so uh, let's go ahead and get started so I'm gonna start off with like traditional like Japan souvenir sort of thing. So I'll show you guys what I got. So the first thing I'll show you guys is this t-shirt and these are the types of things that you can buy at like any souvenir shop in any of like the you know main cities or whatever. But um, this is just one that says Tokyo and it has like different areas of Tokyo and I really liked it that it was black and had these colors so very Japanese. Just a basic t-shirt. And then when we went to um, Asakusa, they had a lot of like um, vendors that have traditional stuff and so um, a lot of them carry this and this is a teru teru bozu. If you guys don't know what this is, it's like a little ghost that's our spirit I think that you make out of a cloth. So this is a tiny one but usually you make one out of like a handkerchief or whatever. They're supposed to, you put them out when it rains and it's supposed to like make the rain go away. So it's like a little spirit to make the rain go away. I don't believe in these types of things, but I thought this was really cute and very like a traditional Japanese thing. So I, I grabbed this. I also got this cute little coin purse that's just of a turtle. I don't know why. I just saw it and I thought it was really cute and I wanted to get it. <laughs> and then AJ and I collect pins right now. We're instead of magnets decided to collect pins. So I got this. We got to actually go to, to Tokyo Tower. So this is my souvenir for Tokyo Tower was this pin. And then I also got just these ones, which are just kind of like general Japanese things. So I got this one with a flag, this one which is a Sakura and has Mount Fuji. We didn't get to go much to Mount Fuji this time, but hopefully next time. And then this one which has the palace on it, which we also didn't get to go, but I just thought this was really pretty. And then for the Sky Tree pin, we also got to go to the Tokyo Sky Tree. Um, this was kind of one of the only main pins that they had. And then for Shibuya, they have the Hachiko dog. Basically, um, in real life, there was a Shiba Inu who was trained to go to the train station every day to meet its master after work, and he continued to do it even after his master died. So, like, it's supposed to represent, like, loyalty and stuff like that. And then I also got this little key ring thing of the sky tree because I just thought it was really pretty. Kind of hard to see with how bright it is, but I also got a couple of postcards um, for Hachiko that I might send to some friends, um, but they're really cute. I also got a little cute little name card. Or it's not a name card, it's like a, like a little postcard mini postcard. So that's basically it that I got of like the traditional Japanese stuff. So unlike Korea, the Japanese really hold on to their music and don't really want it to be like international. They like keep it for themselves. And I don't think it's like a selfish thing. I think it's just they they are still a really tight culture in that way. So anyway, it's really hard to buy J-pop on iTunes or anywhere, to find it anywhere, even on YouTube and stuff like that. So I wanted to grab a couple of CDs. So I did. I got to go to Book Off in um, Japan and I bought a couple of CDs from my favorite artist who, and her name is Benny and um, I have some of her music but I kind of like ripped it off and I didn't really want to do that so now I, I bought it and I own it so I'm really really glad to have these two and then also at Book Off I actually got some books and I got some manga and <laughs> this is really fun this is a series called Lovely Muko um, it's about a Shiba Inu if you guys haven't seen it Oh my gosh, there's an anime about it, and it is so cute. Having a dog, especially, just makes it so relatable, but Muko kind of like, you hear her thoughts, um, and it's it's just very funny. It's, I, I love this. So I bought the manga in Japanese so that I can practice my Japanese, 
because I really, really want to learn how to read better. It's got the first four volumes of Lovely Mukko. Mukko! And I guess keeping on the sort of anime um, theme, I got a couple figures. Um, I got it this figure from Toradora. If you guys don't know that anime, it's so hard to say it. It's Toradora. <laughs> and to understand it, if you don't know what it is, this is Taiga. And she, this is one of my favorite anime. It's my second favorite anime next to Kiwini Todoke. So they had this figure for, it says 900 yen. It was like 9 bucks. And I was like, I need to get that. And then they also had a little mini version of her in her swimsuit, and I thought this was so cute. And this one was only $8, so I was super stoked to find anything of Taiga, um, you know, that I don't have, so. And then this is one of what people call your anime hubbies. <laughs> this is uh, Sanosuke Harada from Hakuoki, and he's one of my favorite guy anime characters, so I got this little version of him, which I really, really like. And then at the Pokemon Center, I didn't pick up a whole lot of stuff, but I wanted to show you guys this. This is like a cookie tin that AJ found, and um, it's the ghost Pokemon, and it's really cool because Mr. Vist is my favorite Pokemon, and then on the other side, Gengar is AJ's favorite Pokemon, so this is a really, really awesome tin that we found that, I mean, I'm just really stoked about. It also has the other Pokemon on here, so it's just, it's a really cute, if you like ghost type Pokemon, this was just, it was so cool. I love this tin. Um, and it has um, cookies in it. I think they're just shortbread cookies. Can't remember, but I think they're like little shortbread cookies. So. Then we also got this game, and <laughs> this is one of those things that um, my sister Sam was like, "We need to get that. Like, can we get that?" And I was, I was thinking it would just be really fun to stick it on like the kitchen table, and you literally, it's Snorlax. See if I can get a better shot. I'm sorry it's so bright, you guys. It's Snorlax, and he's on a little hammock, and then you have to like balance the Pikachu's on top of him. So it just it's it's so funny, and we really wanted to pick this up. The the illustrations are just so cute. And then I also got a plushie. I got a Jolteon plush because I am a Evolution um, fan. I like all the Eevees, but isn't this so cute? Oh my gosh, I just think it's so cute. They didn't have Glaceon in the set, and I really wanted Glaceon, but I love Jolteon too, so I got Jolteon. And then I got a couple little stationary things. I got this little sticker of Pikachu holding uh, ketchup because I love that she she has an obsession with that. And then I got these little sticky notes. They're kind of hard to see. Uh, they're, they're like not sticky notes, they're like memo, a memo pad, but it's Gengar and he's like eating the little sugar stars. And I just thought it was so cute. And when we went to the aquarium, I like to always get something that uh, we saw there that stuck out um, when, we, and when we go to each different aquarium. And so for the aquarium, the Sunshine Aquarium, we went to, there were mud skippers. And mud skippers stuck out to me because I had never really seen them before. Um, and if I did, I didn't notice them. Um, and then Emmy watches Octonauts. And in Octonauts, there's an episode of mud skippers. So I bought her a big one, and then I got myself this tiny little one. Let's show you guys. It pulls out like this. And they're just these really funny creatures that roll around and fling mud. And so that's supposed to be, it's like little mud. And I just thought it was so funny. And then I also got these. Um, which are little sea angels. I got to see sea angels uh, for the first time, like in Animal Crossing is where I saw them first. So I got these cute things. And then for the Sumida Aquarium, uh, the eels, moray eels were amazing because they actually were swimming. And if you guys watch my vlog, you'll be able to see that, but that stuck out to me. And they didn't have a pin, so um, I got this keychain. So something I'm really, really excited to share with you guys is that I got to go to the Hopechan store in Harajuku. And if you watch my videos and you especially watch my Doki Doki Japan crate openings, um, they include a Hopechan into every box now. And so to be able to go to the store was really, really, really cool. And so I got to buy some merch from there. And one of the things was this, and it's a towel and lots of hand towels in Japan. But this actually says a Harajuku shop. So, and I love strawberry things like this. I just thought it was super cute. They had all kinds of fun little accessories for you to um, like decorate with Hope Chan. And so one of the things that they had is this little chair. It's just a little pink chair. And I just thought it was so cute. And then I also got these, which I love so much. I love things that are in rainbow colors where they have like every option together. I especially like pastel colors. This is like one of my favorites. This is my favorite Hope Chan thing I have but it's just all of them and they're stuck together so they just keep together but they're so squishy and so cute. I'm really, really happy that I got this. And then the last thing that I got from that store is this little crepe with the Hopechan which was what I brought back from being in Harajuku because we had crepes and it had Hopechan. It just kind of encompassed everything that made that part special and memorable. 
so. And then the other two things that I got in Harajuku were a couple pairs of earrings because they have a lot of accessory stores in Harajuku. And the first one are these little kind of silvery, clunky almost, um, flower earrings. And I, I like these. I think they're cool. And then the other ones I got were these like long feather ones, which I love these colors. The light colors and um, dangly earrings like this I think are really pretty. That was all I picked up from Harajuku. There are so much to see and we didn't spend a lot of time there. So that's what I brought back. Something I will share on here that I wasn't sure if I'm going to share on here is some blind boxes that I'm going to open up on a separate video. But there are these remen boxes. And I'm so excited about them. They are literally just like toast. It's toast, you guys. And I don't... Some of you may not know and some of you may know, but I like love toast things. <laughs> if you saw my Instagram, I posted a picture that looked like exactly... I really, really, really want to get this one. But they have like a couple of different variations. And I just... I got like five of these and I'm so excited to open them. Ah, they're so cute. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to show you guys in my traditional section that I got these really, really pretty summertime stickers that I just love. I don't... How am I going to be able to use these? I don't even know. Give me on something special. But they're just so pretty. Summertime in Japan. Oh, I love stickers and I love stickers like this especially. They also got some Disney ones. Some classic Mickey ones. I've already used a couple of them really really like these and then at the theme parks I got these ones which are, they're kind of sparkly I don't really care too much about that but just look at like seriously how cute all these different ones they're so cute I love them so segue into the Disneyland parks because let me show you what I got from the Disneyland park the Disney parks it's Disneyland and Disney Sea the Tokyo Disney parks would be like the correct way of saying it I'll show you guys the first thing that's in front of me I got this tea set um, which comes with a little spoon. I think this is where you put your tea bags and then this little tea bag holder and um, It has many isn't this so pretty though. This is like Japanese traditional stuff mixed with Disney. Isn't that so pretty? I love this and then I also got the stitch snack set the stitch encounter one which is one of the rides there. And these, I believe, are chocolates. I can't remember. They don't show you on the backs of some of the stuff, but they have them displayed when you buy them. So I think these are a type of chocolate. But isn't the packaging so cute? Ah, it's so Japanese. I didn't get this inside the park, but I got this right outside the park. If you guys saw my Instagram, I posted this. It was literally in a vending machine, like right when you get off the train to go to Disney. I haven't opened it yet. I will open it. You guys know me in opening stuff later. But um, this is just a tin, and it has, I think, um, well, it's a grape type of candy. And I don't know if they're hard candies or soft candies. I think they're hard candies, but I was so stoked to find that. And then the other stuff that I got, um, one of the things was this fan, and I should I should open this one to show you guys because it is so pretty. This is the only fan that I bought in Japan, I just realized. Isn't that pretty? So traditional, but it has mini on it. I love this. I just think it's so pretty. It's got a little charm on the bottom. Just a little simple one. I really, really like this fan. Seeing which characters the Japanese people like is one of the funnest things about going to a foreign country because they actually like the three caballeros and they call them the three amigos. But they have a bunch of variety of characters and Panchito and Jose are two of the ones that the Japanese people like for some reason. The three amigos and it includes Donald too but they have like packs like this and so without hesitation I got whatever I could find of Jose because if you guys don't know he's one of my favorite Disney characters. So I got these. They're so cute. They're just usually you hang them on your bag and they even have like pins on the back like clothes pins. And then speaking of pins. I also found a couple of Disney pins I'm so excited about. So I found this one which is amazing and it has the Tokyo Disney Resort on it and everything. Ah, oh, I was so stoked to find this and then I can't get Jose without Panchito. And then they have really really cute little Japanese traditional foods. This is Chahan um, fried rice and they have, but they have little like Mickey details and that's so cute. It's just a keychain but I wanted to bring home one of these. And then another thing that I got was this, and it is a flashlight. <laughs> um, it is from the Monsters Inc. ride because the Monsters Inc. ride is very different than our Monsters Inc. ride, and I wanted something to remember it because it's so unique and I really enjoyed it. So I got this keychain with the light on it. And then I think the last thing that I got at the resort was one of these, and they are the res the actual resort uh, Takara Tommy series. Um, but this is the cars, little vehicles that they have everywhere, little model, model cars that you can collect. 
and this one is the stitch one. Okay, and then things that I got that were Disney that were not in the resorts. I got this awesome figure of Stitch. This is like one of the coolest things that I got. AJ had seen it online before, so when I saw it in real life, I was like, oh my gosh, I really want that. I also got this little fork, and it's with the new ice cream Tsum Tsum collection. So it has just a little Mickey and Minnie. And then I also, for Tsum Tsums, got these two cupcake ones, which are Daisy and Donald, and I just think they're so cute. I love dessert stuff like that. Oh, I forgot to show you guys in Harajuku, I also got the uh, four set of the Harajuku Tsumutsumus. It's really cool because a lot of people buy these online and stuff, and I actually got to go to Harajuku and pick one up from the actual store, and that was like one of the coolest things about owning this. This is like, I, I plucked this from the store. Then I also got these. <laughs> I mostly wanted it because Sebastian looks kind of funny to me, but I mostly wanted it because of Flounder, because Flounder is like, He's just so cute. I love him as a Tsum Tsum and then they have him in this like little sleepy version. And I mean, come on. Like, seriously, it's adorable. Okay, I'm almost done. I could do this. A couple of other three caballero things that I got. Um, I got these pony oh, ponytails. Or, um, what are they called? Pony bands or, what are these called? I don't know what they're called. For your hair, you know what I'm talking about? It has the three caballeros. Super cute. And this was at like the Disney store, Disney stores. They had these little phone charms. And then they also had this one of Jose. They had the other two too, but I only got Jose for this charm. And then not at the actual Disney store, my mom found these while we were separated at one day. Let's see if I can pull them up for you guys. <laughs> They're just little bean bag, kind of like uh, itty bitties. They're almost like Disney itty bitties. They're called pote potes, but they're the three caballos and they're separate obviously, but um, I wanted to get all three of them. Make sure I get Jose, but I got all three of them. Also got this key holder of Jose. It's just you stick your key in it. And then I got these three keychains. It's really hard to hold them all three up. There's three. This is the three caballeros on the back, but it's the three of them. <laughs> ah, can you see? Can you see it? I got a couple of stitch key hangers or um, danglers, cell phone straps. And there's him. It's really hard to see that. Here, let me take this off. I can take it off. There we go. So I got him with a one with a dumpling and then one with him like eating ramen. And this is something that I won in a UFO machine. I actually like picked her up and spent too much money on uh, winning her. But it's Rapunzel. But I, I like getting things that like I won from Japan. Even if they cost too much money, it was still fun to like know that I could get her out. And then I did not buy any clothing except for one item in Japan and I will show you guys what I got. And it's this skirt. It's just a basic kind of pleated blue skirt. So I'm really excited about this. It has a, a waistband that's like stretchy. So I thought that this was really pretty. This was from GU, which is kind of like Uniqlo. Um, they're like Old Navy and then Gap are owned by the same company. GU and Uniqlo are owned by the same company. So they all have very like simple stuff and I really I really like shopping there. I would love to go there again next time we go out there. This is my rhino thing I got from Japan. He's kind of funny looking, but that's what I got. So I think that is pretty much everything. I'm sure I missed like a couple of things that I've already used or put away. Um, other than that, I have like a bajillion different types of like gashapon, but they're nothing like really crazy to look at or like I don't want to open them all. So maybe I'll post some pictures on Instagram of the ones that we got. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me open and show you guys all the stuff that I got from Japan. Let me know what kind of stuff interests you guys and if it made you excited and want to go to Japan. Because I want to go back to Japan looking at all this stuff again. I'm glad that I got through it and I hope that it's not too long. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and thanks for spending time with me. Bye!